coming back there, I was able to sleep. Coming back here, I was awake most of the time. So I had an opportunity to read some books. And this is um, the book, one of the books I read was about a very inspirational man. And this is the story I want to share with you today. And here it is. He is a coach, a teacher, an author, a motivational speaker, an acrobatic skydiver, a mountaineer, a skier, a long distance biker, an ice climber, and a rock climber. I think that's what I'm talking about. He is one of the youngest climbers who climbed the, most, the world's most challenging and difficult peaks on each of the seven continents. He climbed Mount Mokinli in Alaska in 19. Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Tanzania in 1997, Aconcagua in Argentina in 2000, and in 2001 he climbed Vincent Massif in Antarctica and the world's most highest peak, Mount Everest in Nepal. And in 2002 he also climbed Elbrus in Russia and Con 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 and Australia. He is the he is the youngest climber who climbed those seven um, highest peak um, in the world. Do you have any idea who I'm talking about? Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
fabricated his inner vision to see the view from the top. His incredible inner strength pushing to the top, a dream that became reality. Fellow Toastmasters, Eric's great accomplishment is a testimony that no matter how big the challenges we are facing, there will always be a way to rise above them. It is not what we have, but it is how we use what we are, we are given. Thank you.